today I'm going to be doing an example solve for people averaging around 20 to 25 seconds, and I won't be using any super advanced techniques such as keyhole, pseudo slotting, and what to do with inspection. Instead, I'll be doing four look glass there, just normal F2L, no super advanced stuff, but I'll be using like advanced F2L. And I'll be using four look glass layer as well, and I'll only be doing my crosses on white and yellow, so it's easier for you guys to follow along. This is the scramble of the first one. And immediately I noticed that white is horrible because these two are flipped, and I can't really do anything about it besides like align this, insert these two together. But I don't want to do that. So instead, I'm gonna go on to yellow and insert these two at the same time, so like this, insert this one into the back, and then do R prime F R to insert this one. Look ahead to these two, so I'll align my cross, and then start doing these two. I would have missed this. I will be honest, I would have missed that. But that's what you get for not planning things in inspection. And then I see this corner just because that's what I was looking at, and so I can do this pair like this. So double inverse sexy here to pair them up and insert into the back with U2 to avoid a regrip. And then I'm going to see these two. Look ahead to this pair and then just go straight into that. And then here, instead of doing this to get my edges, I could just look at the corner orientation and the edge orientation and do a different alg to orient these two. So sexy with like that and then M and then insert this pair to orient the edges. The reason why I do that is this doesn't disturb the corners. So I can take a look at my corners. I'll have a soon. So after this, I'm gonna do a U2 and then soon into just OLL. And the reason I can do that is because I looked ahead before. And then now it's just corners and edges. You probably use a different zebra algorithm. Here is the next scramble. Okay, so here immediately, white is pretty bad because of this. And, well, this is a flipped edge. Uh, this is not horrible. This is just, just normal. I could do this. Actually, let's just do white, just to see how an intermediate solver would approach this. So, I would put in these two together like this. And then I would do this at the same time to put these two in together and then just align my cross look at so these two and while i'm doing that i notice this corner and then i'm gonna see this edge too pair these up notice this corner notice this edge right here just do the case and then these two are my last pair not too hard and then i'm gonna do the same trick from last time this time to orient these two i'm gonna hold them like this and take a look at my corners so I'm going to have an H-O-L-L here, and I could do a C-O-L-L, but I won't do that. And then just going to do sexy M prime undo with a wide move at the end, and I'm going to do my O-L-L. For this O-L-L, do not do this. That is a C-O-L-L, but it's just slower. You can just do soon and soon again, but... Moves cancel out, so it'll end up looking like this. Partway through soon, and then just insert this part with a U2. And then now I'm just going to solve my corner, so like this. And then my edges, either like this, or like this. Depends on what you like. Here's the next scramble after that. I'm going to be doing five in total. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm going to be doing... Maybe white for this again, although yellow I could do some stuff with, but I'll do white, just so that you guys can follow along. Um, I'll do F here to align this, and then put orange in, and then do R, uh, take this out, and put it in its right spot, and then here for an X cross that might be a bit hard for you guys to follow along if you're an intermediate solver but 
that's what I would do. And then I see this pair, pair them up like this, insert into the back like that, and then notice these two. And then I don't see any white corners on top, so it must be here, which is quite a bad case that I can still do from the back. And I'm going to do the same trick. This is going to be a bow tie OLL, just from looking at the corners, assuming that this was a cross instead. So I can already see that, so I'm just going to do my alg afterwards. I know a ton of you don't use that alg. I use that alg. If I were to not use that alg, I would have done something like this and then gotten n perm at the end. I'll just do this just because most of you are doing this. Y perm here to solve the corners and then U perm to solve the edges. Or I could have done it like that. Here's the next scramble. Okay, so with this scramble, I want to do yellow, but white doesn't actually, these two flipped edges. I mean, I could put them in together, like, I don't want to do that. I'll do yellow. So, first, uh, from an intermediate mindset, I would probably notice this, put this in, but this does give me two flipped edges on top, which is kind of really bad. Oh, but I could do them like this at the end. So not horrible. D2, look at these. And then pair them up like this. Insert into the back just so that it's a f nicer flow. And then uh, notice this corner. Look around. There's no green edge besides this one that I can see both colors of. And this is white. So I'm going to look for this. And then orange is at the back because green is on top. So I'm going to go straight into that. And then just this pair because I see it. The other one would have been probably better to pair these up. Here, sledgehammer and insert. And then same trick again. This is going to be in a soon OLL. So then I'm just going to do this. And then soon. And then U perm. One more solve. Okay. So here, this scramble isn't bad. I can face uh, green and do white cross and start with L and then F2. Put this in at the end and then I'll have this pair. And then uh, I can do this pair either with keyhole if you know it, like that. I will do it like that because it's just the better option. Move this slot over here and just move the corner in. D. And then I'm going to do this pair because it's rotationless and this pair. And then now I'm going to do the same trick again. And then U perm at the end. Pretty lucky at the end with no... Uh, with no corners. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helped you out if you were an in, in, intermediate solver. Now the next step is just to learn all your PLLs. That end of scene camera did not happen.